Hey there everybody, it's Ange at Homestead Design. So the first um, little video in our Perfectly Imperfect January series is starting today on New Year's Eve. Um, a little assessment just to kind of see um, where are you at in life, what is going well, um, where are some areas that you might want to improve. Um, because as we've said before, we don't all need to do um, huge resolutions, you know, change totally everything. Um, I found that just little tweaks um, seem to be the ones that stick and they seem to be the ones that make the most difference um, and just make us feel good. Um, and so what I like to do at this time of year is kind of think back on your year or just kind of your life in general and think about where, what things are going well and what things maybe could use a little improvement. So what I did in my little notebook is I just wrote down the cat the main categories of my life. Um, so for me, this will be different for everybody, but just kind of some areas of priority in your life. Um, so for me, those areas are relationship with Matt, faith, parenting, um, health and fitness, our house, time management, self care, and finances. Um, I put our business, I did this separately for our business, um, just because that's kind of, it's a whole, it's a whole nother thing, but you could just put your work in there too, um, uh, to kind of assess where you're at with that if, if you don't have a whole business to deal with. Um, what I did was I just jotted down, um, what are a couple things that are going really well in those areas that I'm happy with? Like, this is great. It's great to think about that and not feel like at this time of year, like, okay, it's a new decade. I have to change everything about my life right now. I have to never eat sugar again. Um, no, think about where you're at. What is going well? Because I bet there are some things that are going really well and that's what we're thinking about. Um, so jot those down. And then also write down, are there a couple uh, things within those categories that could use a little bit of improvement or that are bothering you? Um, whether it's in your relationship or in your parenting or just in your house. Um, I like to write down um, the house category. Sometimes can be um, really things that can make a big difference. So like, you know, my kitchen table is driving me crazy because everybody piles the mail there and it's a just a disaster all the time. Um, you know, it can be little things like that or it can be big things like my relationship is a mess. Um, but just kind of jotting down what's good and what needs a little bit of work. That kind of gives you an overview of your life. It can kind of show you the big picture. Like, okay, right here on paper, this is what's good and this is what needs some work. Um, from there, that can be a great jumping off point to set some small goals um, that will really make a difference. So for example, um, what I did last year was I did this exercise and then I looked over it and I kind of saw that in general, some of the little um, things that were bothering me could um, be tied to my energy level. Um, I was just kind of tired all the time and things like that. So I decided that my thing that I was gonna work on just for January, I, I can't do a whole year of a resolution that's too much for me. I, can, I just wanna look at a month. Um, I decided that energy was what I was going to work on. And so this is my first page of last year's planner. There's my 2019 planner. I get so excited about a planner. My first page, look at me. I even made it cute. I tried to do the bullet journaling thing that lasted for two months. Not my thing. Um, but I decided that my, what I was going to focus on in January was energy. Um, and so I found a couple little things that I could tweak. Um, I gave up pop for the month of January um, because while I adore pop, it makes me feel like crap. Um, and I committed to um, moving more, going for walks more, you know, some things like that. Um, so I kind of identified what was kind of a broad thing um, that needed a little bit of tweaking and then found some small things within that that I could work on. So this year, um, I am I, what I'm identifying as some little things that need work can all be tied back to um, just a little bit better communication and planning with Matt. So we are reinstituting um, our little 
family meetings that we used to have. Um, so we're going to just have a little time each week to meet and go over some details. Um, we've just been feeling very reactive instead of proactive when it comes to who's picking up the kids today, who's running this one there, and what are we having for supper. Um, so I just want to kind of buckle down a little bit in that area. Um, so basically, kind of find your categories, whatever those priorities are to you, and see what's one thing I can do that would make the biggest difference. Um, maybe it's in your health category. Maybe maybe your, your health or a problem with your health is affecting lots of areas. Um, and while you might not be able to change the whole thing, is there one small tweak you can make? Um, one little thing that you can just add to your daily life that might make a difference. So whether it's, um, you know, trying to, to walk even 10 minutes a day. Um, and I know that can be difficult in January in Minnesota. Um, not everybody likes to be out in the cold like I do. Um, even if it's taking an extra lap around the grocery store, pushing your cart when you're getting groceries or things like that. Um, but finding something small. Um, so that's the exercise um, for today is just jot down those categories, um, see what's going well, um, see what needs a little bit of tweaking, and choose something. Um, and I would suggest do just one thing. Um, you can, you might build momentum and be able to add in more things, but to start with, just one thing. Just the one thing that's bugging you, the one thing that might make the biggest difference. You know, if I could just fix this, or if I could just work on that area, that would make other things go more smoothly. So um, spend a little time today if you can, um, and if not, January 1st is just a day. It doesn't matter <laughs> if you don't get this done today, if you don't start goals tomorrow, the world is not going to end. The year is going to keep on going and you're, you can just, you can do it whenever. Um, you know, the New Year's thing is great for some people and other people, it's just another day. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, I hope that is helpful to you and then we will circle back and talk a little bit about it in the next video. Happy New Year, guys!